Man, has there ever been a day before free agency as crazy as this one? Not only did we have the draft yesterday, day two of the draft that is, but today we had ourselves Tanev and Gensel. They got traded their signing. The Patrick Kane sweepstakes officially confirmed he is a Red Wing for next year. All the other stuff that we had been seeing from today is crazy, but none of them are as crazy as this. Take a look at Larry Brooks's newest piece on the New York Post, The Rangers Cannot Overreact in Free Agency After Not Getting Another Chance at Patrick Kane. Okay, great, it talks about Kane, it talks about the Red Wings, this was published earlier. Okay, I was gonna say earlier, it's weird because it's like, July 1st, 2024, 12 a.m. EST, but right now as I'm talking into this microphone, it's June 30th. Like, what do I say? Earlier today? Either way, it's 3 a.m. in the East right now, and the Rangers have themselves a pretty big kerfuffle on their hands when it comes to their captain, Jacob Truba. 30 years old, 6'3", 203, big contract, $8 million a year till the end of 2025, 2026, and if you scroll down to the bottom of this Larry Brooks piece, let's go out there and read everything that goes over Jacob Truba. Here it is. Monday is the day that Jacob Truba's no-move clause transforms to a 15-team no-trade list. There are apparently hurt feelings on the part of the captain, maybe even deservedly so over the way the club's intentions were splashed all over the papers and the internet last week. But it would be counterproductive for Truba to put on a pout and attempt to make it as difficult as possible for the Rangers to trade him. He has always played hardball in contract negotiations. He had leverage with then-GM Jeff Gordon after the Blue Shirts obtained the defenseman from Winnipeg in 2019, with one year left on his deal ahead of potential free agency that he used to get his current seven-year, $56 million contract that has two years remaining. Now, the Rangers have leverage via the limited no-trade clause and have decided they can't afford an $8 million cap hit for a defenseman who is projected to be on the third pair. It doesn't matter whether he was Captain Courageous playing on a broken ankle in the playoffs or not. If Truba does not approve a trade to Detroit that is believed to be in place, he will ultimately be sent somewhere else, perhaps by waivers. The decision has been made. That's it, folks. Jacob Truba's future with the New York Rangers is no future. He's done. The Rangers have already made it. It is put in place. It is set in stone. They have made the decision to leave. And this is going to become one of the bigger stories if Truba eventually does get bought out. If he does not approve that trade to Detroit, which he has the opportunity to say no to, I mean... He's got a 15-team no-trade list. We don't know who is on it, of course. Like, we don't have public access to that information. But let's say Detroit is on it. He doesn't want to go back to his hometown Wings. Maybe when he had signed this contract that he's on right now, the Wings were bad, which they were in 2020-2021. They were literally the worst team in the NHL in 2019-20. So maybe Truba did not have his hometown Rochester, Michigan, Detroit Red Wings on his list. But... That doesn't matter. If he has an opportunity to say no, and he uses that opportunity to say no, the Rangers are going to potentially waive this guy. When was the last time we saw that happen? A big, beefy contract for an underperforming, expensive asset getting bought out? Oh wait, that happened today with Jack Campbell. But either way, I wanted to make this quick late night video to get some thoughts out there because it's midnight here in Vancouver. It's 3 a.m. over there in New York. And according to Larry Brooks, one of the main New York Rangers beat reporters and most connected guys for the New York Post, it seems like Jacob Truba's time in New York is already done. And if it's not a trade to Detroit, he'll be sent somewhere. He might even get waived. The decision to leave has already been set. If you're a Rangers fan, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about saying goodbye to Truba and what this means for your organization. Who takes his spot? Who fills in that role? And where do you go with that $8 million freed up? If Truba gets put on waivers, he probably gets claimed. Right? Right? He doesn't go unclaimed because he's making eight million bucks. Same with Jack Campbell. That guy's... Okay, no, Jack Campbell's probably going to go and clear waivers, and then he'll get bought out. I don't know if I can say the same thing about Truba. Honestly, I'm not sure. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I got to record another video because Steven Stamkos, another captain of another Eastern team, is also on the move somewhere. 
and this could be the craziest, let's just say, midnight period of NHL fandom that we have experienced in years. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section on this video about Truba. The next one, we'll talk about Stamkos. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.